Hi everyone, it's Patrick Langevin from The Bushnell. Wanted to get together with you today to make a little art. Uh, now I am not an artist, or I don't consider myself to be an artist, but I love making art. Um, and one of my friends once said to me, you know, there's no wrong in art. So really, I love to just play with different materials and have some fun um, and make something special. So today what we're gonna do is we are gonna be making these envelopes um, and personalized cards. Um, and I thought we could do this today because right now there's so many people that we love, you know, our friends, our family, um, that we can't see. So this is an opportunity to really say I love you or hello or I miss you um, to all of those people um, that are important in, in your life. So what I want to do first is sort of just talk about all the supplies that you'll need um, and then we can just take a minute to pause if you want to get those or um, you know you can always do this later. So some of the supplies that you'll need are um, magazines, so we'll be using magazines to um, make our envelopes. So you'll need just, if you have any magazines or if you have newspaper or um, any sort of large scale paper images, um, plenty of scrap paper. Um, so different colors, if you have any, that would be great. Um, we have a potato here, which sounds strange, but we'll explain that later. Um, I have an ink pad. If you don't have an ink pad, then what you can use is a marker or you can always use a little bit of paint. And I can go through that a little bit later. I have a glue stick. I've got a Sharpie or marker. I have a ton in different colors as well. You can use crayons, whatever you'd like. Um, and some scissors as well and some decorative paper as well. So uh, those are really all the supplies that you need. Um, and if you don't have any of those, there's definitely things that you can fill in too to make it work. So we'll go through the whole project and um, great. We will start by pulling out these magazines. So what you wanna do is, so you're gonna take your magazine and you're gonna look through and what you want to do is just find some images where it's just one whole page of pictures and maybe it has a lot of bright colors um, or it has a really scenic picture, a landscape, um, whatever you like. So you can tear that out and I've teared out a few of these and they don't need to be perfect on the edge. We're going to fix that. Um, so you'll see I've got a scenic landscape here, I've got a garden, and then I got this sort of black and white page of some flowers. Um, so I think maybe what we'll do is we'll start with this scenic landscape. And we are going to make our envelope. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, face our image down um, and we are gonna take the sides and we're gonna fold them over by about half an inch, okay? So you're gonna fold one side and then you're gonna fold the other side. Great, okay. There we go. Okay. Now, what you're gonna do is you are going to use this glue. Oh, here, let's fold this. So we're gonna fold it I would say um, a little bit more than halfway up, but you wanna leave plenty of room for your top of the envelope. So you'll see there, so you got your nice fold there, but you still have uh, little sides folded over. So what we're gonna do now is we are just gonna use the glue stick here and we're gonna just glue just the sides that you folded in on the bottom here. Okay, so we're gonna glue the bottom. Great. And then we're gonna fold that up. And so what you've done is you've left yourself that pocket so that way when you make your card, um, you'll be able to put your card right in that pocket. Uh, and then you have that nice little image 
um, for the front of your envelope. So now that you've done that, I'm just gonna do the point on the top. So usually I just, you know, fold it over first. So you've got your little angled envelope top, like I have here. And then I open it back up and then I just glue that part. So I'm just gonna use the glue stick. You don't need too much glue. Just really go over it. Okay, great. So now you sort of have your envelope there. You can always fold that over if you wanna take a look just to see what, what it's gonna look like when it's done, great. So now that we have our envelope, we're gonna put that to the side, great. And what we'll do is we'll start working on our car. So I think I'm gonna go with some blue paper. And so what you're gonna do is you're gonna want to measure out the size of uh, your paper to make sure that your card fits your envelope. So in this case, I'm gonna use my marker, but if you wanna use a pencil, it might be easier so that way you can erase it afterwards. Um, so you're gonna mark it off so you know how long it is on the sides, how long it is um, here actually. I'm gonna mark it off on the end right here where the end uh, of the card is. And then I want it to be a folding card, so I'm gonna just make it double the size, okay? Um, so I'll just mark that off on the end and on the end right here. And you won't see those marks because what I'll do is I will cut uh, those off on the ends. And that'll also ensure that the card will really fit um, into the envelope. So I'm gonna follow those lines and I am going to cut all the way down in those lines. Great. And it doesn't have to be perfect, it's fine. If you wanna try to get straight, you can always use a ruler too um, to make sure everything's straight if you'd prefer. Um, so then you can just fold out what you've cut. And what we'll do first is we just wanna make sure that it fits our envelope. So let's see here, it might be, mine's a little, ooh, it's just snug. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut off a little bit on the end of the paper here, great. So you just wanna test it out. Is it gonna slide into that pocket there? Great, perfect. Slides right in. All right, so now we can start working on our card. So now here comes a little fun part. So um, I've collected a bunch of different little stamps over the years. Um, you can always order those um, online if you'd like. Um, and I have a couple ink pads as well. But if you don't have um, access to those stamps or ink, um, there's so many options. Um, you, know, you don't even need a stamp at all. But one fun thing to do with the family too, so whether you're doing this um, you know, as an adult, a child, or as a family, um, you can always take a potato and make a potato stamp. So how you make a potato stamp is uh, you're gonna cut a potato in half. I'm not gonna do that right now, but I'll show you how you do it. So you cut the potato in half, uh, and then what you're gonna do is you'll draw on that half a potato, and I'll show you what I've done. So you, so right now, I'm making a heart stamp. So I've drawn the heart on the potato. I'll show that to you. There you go, a nice little heart there. And again, it doesn't need to be perfect. Um, and then what you'll do is using uh, a knife or X-Acto knife or scissors, so make sure that an adult is doing this, um, you're gonna cut around the edge of the heart or whatever whatever your design is. So you're gonna cut around the edge of it and you're gonna cut down, um, you know, just give it a little bit of depth there. Uh, and then what you'll do is you'll use that knife and I can give you a little bit of a close up here. So essentially what you'll do is cut in from the inside and you'll cut to the edge of whatever you've created in terms of your stamp, okay? So you're cutting in, you're cutting in. There you go. All right. So you wanna make sure that it pops up, whatever you're cutting out, whatever your image is, um, so that way when you uh, put ink on it or paint or whatever you're using, 
and you put it on the paper, it's the edges aren't getting too much ink on it. So if you see on mine, I got a little bit of ink on that. So I'm going to try not to do that. Um, so you can take your ink pad, um, if you're using that, and you're going to put the potato uh, stamp right into that ink. So you get nice, nice color on it. So I'm just going to lightly do that so I don't get it on the sides. There you go. And again, you can use... You could definitely use whatever you'd prefer. Um, you can use uh, paint. You can use um, a marker even just to color it in. So I'm going to just put this heart right in the middle. Oh, my heart didn't come out <laughs> that great. So here, I'm going to put this to the side. Yep, so you can do as many as you'd like. Um, and I have one here that I did do. So I use my stamp. I'm going to place it there. Use my stamp. Okay, great. Um, and then what you can do is, uh, if you have some decorative paper, um, you can cut out some shapes. Like I did these little triangles in the corner of mine, use markers to write messages on the front, um, and feel free to Google, you know, greeting card messages, or, you know, what do you, greeting card messages to someone I want to, send a special message to, or greeting cards about love, or greeting cards about missing you. And then you can uh, write that message right on the card, um, whatever you're drawing or creating. So in this case, I mean, sometimes I like to just cut out a lot of different shapes. Um, and then what I'll do is I'll just use the glue stick here. Just rub those on. And then I'll just put them, you know, in different different places here on the card, just to add to it. And again, there's no there's no wrong in art. Just have some fun with it. It's nice to sort of relax a little bit um, and make some art. It's a nice little escape. And I'll do one more of these. Okay, great. All right, all right, so we have a nice little card and you're gonna write your message in it and then you can slide it into your envelope. And then what I do is I just cut out a small little piece of paper so that way you can put your label on there, see? Um, so that way you can write, you know, the address, name and address to whoever you're sending it to so it's easier for the post office uh, to read that, to send that to them. So um, really that's it. It's a fun little activity uh, for you, for the family, to do with friends. Um, and it's a great way to just reuse some of your magazines and um, have some fun and make some art. So um, I really enjoyed this time with you guys. And um, I hope you guys have some fun making some cards. Send it to all the important people in your life. Uh, grandmothers, mothers. I know I'm going to send this one to my mom and probably this one uh, to my best friend. So um, thank you for joining me. And I hope to see you soon back at the Bushnell. Take care.